This is the first of a series of videos I'm doing on five years later in regards to my PC I bought literally five years ago. It's no slouch by any means. It has a 1920X Threadripper. It had 32 gig of RAM when I bought it. It's still got 32 gig of RAM. It's the same DIMMs. The only thing that's changed is the graphics card. Over time, we've had BIOS updates and improvements and obviously Windows updates. We originally had Windows 8 on this machine and now it's running Windows 11. So I'm running synthetic benchmarks to prove how it's changed over time. So to start off with, we got Cinebench R15 running on Windows 11 and Windows 8. The Windows 8 benchmark was taken from a previous video I did five years ago. So a uh, link to that is in the description below. Windows 11 comes out with 2% difference, but this could be down to margin of error. Each OS was tested three times and the top score was taken. So Windows 8 came out with 2289 and Windows 11 came out with 2328. Now moving on to CPU-Z, we've got our multi-thread and single-threaded performance benchmarks, which we've run in CPU Z and you can see there is a 9% difference in multi-threaded workload but the average single thread ends up being round about the same. Now onto 3D Mark which is our only example of Windows 11 performing worse than Windows 8. In the Time Spy 3D Mark CPU only test, and we can see that there's a minus 2% difference with Windows 11 to Windows 8. So, over time, the X399 platform became a lot more stable. Uh, so, I've included benchmarks for running at 4 GHz on all cores versus the previous 3.5 with a boost to 4 GHz. These are the results. In Cinebench, we see a 7% increase over the Windows 11 at stock settings. In CPU-Z we see an 8% increase in multi-threaded performance. And then once again in Time Spy CPU test we get a reduction in performance using an overclock as this is an all-core overclock which means it can't boost. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful please hit that like and subscribe button that'd be excellent. Uh, let me tell you about Curve. Curve is a proxy card. When you sign up using my link in the description below you get 1% on all your purchases for the first month and you can refer friends and family, extending that month to an additional month each person you refer. Thanks for watching.